it's very interesting to think about vacation because vacation we can think of just like salary. So imagine at, the, at, your, at your annual review when you're ta being told what your raise will be, uh, your employer is saying, well, would you rather X more dollars or another week of vacation? So vacation fits in just like any other part of the total compensation puzzle. What makes vacation particularly interesting is for many types of workers, vacation is vacation. You go away, you go on vacation, you come back, someone else has done your job while you're away, and you just pick up where you left off. There's also, though, a large number of workers who go on vacation, and every day they go on the vacation, they're worried because more and more and more is stacking up, and they're going to have to get back to it anyway. It's harder and harder for certain kinds of professional workers to go on vacation. They bring their computer with them. They bring their handheld device with them. They're constantly in touch with the office. Do workers really feel like they have to be constantly working, or they might fear losing their job? I think in some organizations, absolutely, they should be fearing that um, because they might lose their job if they're not constantly working. It's a constant battle for people when we talk about work-life balance. Work-life balance might sound like a great thing, and some people might like that trade-off. They might like a trade-off where they can enjoy their professional life, but also have a personal life outside of that. Others thrive on working all the time, and they get great joy and happiness and utility out of that. Um, it's difficult when there's a disconnect that the worker wants it one way and the employer wants it the other. And uh, too often, there's not great communication about what it is the employer wants or what it is the worker wants. That's part of the importance of figuring it out, figuring out how most employers pay and particularly how your employer pays.